Before Newton, people had a, a, a pretty fair idea that colour had something to do with light. Um, but people didn't know what to make of that. Right, my name is Philip Ball and I'm a science writer. Well, Newton did two experiments to tease apart what, what it is that, that, that colour is and how colour comes from light. One of them was to show that he could use one prism to split apart white sunlight into this spectrum of many different colours. But then, crucially, he showed that he could use another prism to mix them back together again and to get white light out again. Anyone who'd ever looked at one of these spectra could see that there are particular colours in it. But it's interesting how people have divided up those spectra throughout history, because in ancient times, people tended to think of the rainbow as being made up of just three colours, yellow, red and green. Some pre-literate cultures that don't have a written language just make distinctions between black and white and red. Or some cultures, Russian for example, has different words for light and dark blue. It doesn't have a general concept of blue. And in Newton's time, at the start of the 17th century, one common idea was that the basic colours, that there are five of them, white and black, red, yellow and blue. But Newton decided that he could see seven different colours. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. So Newton decided he could see two distinct kinds of purple. It, it, it's not clear, actually, why Newton chose to divide that part of the spectrum up in particular. There's a big area that's covered by blue and green and the transition between them that we choose not to recognise as a, a sort of fundamental colour in its own right. And there's, it's not clear why we shouldn't do that. Um, and so this is how he divided up the spectrum into these seven colours. Newton did that not for any objective reason. Um, he did it because he had an almost mystical belief that there should be seven colours. And the reason for that belief was that he thought there should be some analogy between the spectrum of different colours and musical notes in a scale. In many ways, Newton is, is, is now seen as quite a mystical thinker. Every scientist has their own style and their own uh, peculiarities, if you like, about the way they explore uh, a subject, and sometimes those stay behind. School children are still taught Newton's scheme as though there's something you know, fundamental and profound about it. Um, but the fact is that there isn't. 